Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and today we will learn Fluent Weight from scratch. So we will go very basic step by step and learn what is Fluent Weight and how to use Fluent Weight in your Selenium JavaScript. So let's get started and let us see what is Fluent Weight. So Fluent Weight technically is a class in the Selenium API or the Selenium library. Let me just show you. I will go to the browser and I will go to google.com and here I will say selenium api documentation java and I will go to this documentation page and here so you can see this is the selenium library or the selenium api documentation where you can get all the packages and classes information and I will search for fluent so you can see this is fluent weight is here and if I click here this is a class in selenium so you can see class fluent weight and it implements the interface weight so weight is an interface and also just for information if you go to this tree here you will find there are some options which are in italics so whatever is in italics are the interfaces one good example will be you can search for web driver and if you see here web driver is again in italics and this is uh, interface in selenium so this is a very good interview question if somebody asks you what is web driver technically so web driver is a interface in selenium and you can get the details here so let us go back to our fluent weight so you can see fluent weight is a class and it is under the package org open selenium support ui so if you go to these packages here you will find this org open selenium support ui and fluent weight is one of the class under this package where you also have web driver weight class as well so here this is a class which implements weight interface and here is the definition an implementation of the weight interface that may have its timeout and polling interval configured on the fly so each fluent weight interface defines uh, sorry instance defines the maximum amount of time to wait for a condition as well as the frequency with which to check the condition so this is what fluent weight is whenever you define a fluent weight you can give a timeout so what is the maximum timeout you want to search or wait for what is the polling frequency so here you can see timeout is 30 seconds and polling frequency is 5 seconds so it will search until 30 seconds and keep on searching every 5 seconds and you can also ignore some particular exception so this is what fluent weight is so whenever you want to apply a weight to a specific element and set the maximum wait time period also set the polling frequency and you want to set a ignore specific condition or exception you can use fluent weight and this is the syntax so let us see practically how to use it I will go to my Eclipse and here I will go to my project here go to my demo package and you can create a class anywhere and you can see this was the earlier class we created for understanding the implicit and explicit weights in selenium so now I will create a new class I will go to new class and I will say fluent weight demo so here I will create a new function public void test and inside the new function I will create an instance for web driver I will say web driver driver equals new I want to use chrome browser I will say chrome driver and I will import web driver from open QS selenium and also for chrome driver I have to give the location of the chrome driver exe so here you can see my chrome driver exe is present here I have created a folder inside the project itself and inside the chrome driver I have this chrome driver exe so for that I will say system dot set property and the property name is web driver dot chrome dot driver and all these things we have done earlier so just I am doing it a little fast and here I will give the value which is the location and I will do a right click here on chrome driver exe go to properties copy the location from here so you can get the location wherever you have your chrome driver exe and paste it here and of course if you are on mac or other systems you can uh, use the forward slash on windows double backslash will also work so 
here now what I will do is I will go to google.com so I will say driver.get and I will go to https google.com and here let me also go here on my browser let me go to google.com here and here I will write something on the search box so if I inspect this search box I can see the name here is Q okay the name is Q here so I will use this name property I will say driver dot find element by dot name and the name is Q of this element and I will say dot send keys and I will write anything let us say ABCD okay and here then I will hit on the search button so again if I go back to my browser and check the search button I will right click inspect and the name for search button is BTNK I can use other properties as well but I think name is okay for now so I will say driver dot find element by dot name and the name is BTNK now here I can use click directly but with experience I know that the click button is overlapped with the search results so what I will do is I will press the enter key on the keyboard so I will say send keys and I will use the keys class and say return so this is equivalent to pressing of the enter key on the keyboard so I am writing ABCD on the search box and hitting the enter key so this will give me the results now after this what I am doing is so if I manually go and check this I will write ABCD here and then hit enter so this will give me this page with all these results okay but what I want to do is I will go to page number two let me go manually here page number two and let me check this link so I want to click on this link which is available on page number two and I will say inspect and here this is the link text so I will just copy the link text and here I will say driver dot find element by dot link text and I will give the link here or the text here and here I will say dot click okay and after this I will say driver dot close and driver dot quit and I will also provide some hard weight here I will say thread dot sleep for three seconds so that you can see this in action and I will have to handle this so I will just throw the exception for now okay so this is our test is created and I can either make it a test ng test and run through test ng but for now I will just have a main method I will say control spacebar on my keyboard to auto complete and here I have to make it as static to call it from static main method and I will call this test method here so I'm calling it in the main method and I will have to throw the exception here as well so I will add throws declaration and exception okay so this is a simple program goes to google.com um, puts ABCD in the search box hits enter and then tries to click on this element which is by link text this so this will eventually fail let us see what happens I will run this do a right click run as Java application and look at the console so you can see at the console did you see it immediately throwed an exception and did not actually wait for the link to get appear or to be available so you can see no such element exception and as soon as it completed the earlier action it did not wait for any time and just throw this exception now this is why we need weights in selenium because in real world your application may behave differently at different instances due to some environment factors like the network is slow the application server is slow or uh, the load time of different objects is different in your application and this is the most uh, very common scenario that the load time of multiple objects can vary and that is why we need weights and that is why we will need fluent weight so let us see a scenario for fluent weight now I will use fluent weight so until now we were just having a simple 
selenium program and now i will add fluent weight so for that what you will do is you can either copy this from the documentation page you can see the sample usage you can copy this or you can also say flue and press control spacebar to auto complete and you will get this auto suggestion so we have to take it from org openqa dot selenium dot support dot ui as we saw here okay from this package okay this is the package so here i will do a right click again here so that it will show me this documentation and this is the same documentation that we have seen on the documentation page and here is the sample usage so i'm just going to copy this sample usage script copy this and paste it here so we have got this I will have to import all the unimported items so one quick tip if you press ctrl shift o on your keyboard or command shift o if you are on mac it will auto complete all the unimported statements and wherever it finds a uh, import which can come from more than one library it will show you this suggestion but for now i will go one by one so this weight i will take from open QA selenium support ui this fluent weight again i will take from dot selenium dot support ui seconds here i have to give time unit so i will say time unit dot seconds and i will get time unit so let me get the time unit from uh, java util concurrent is okay and again here i have to give time unit dot seconds so you can actually give days hours microseconds milliseconds nanoseconds minutes so here we will use seconds and no such element exception we have to import and you can use any exception here okay so you can have multiple exceptions that you want to ignore and here i have to import web element here we will import function and here you have to take it from com.google.common.base so here and now you can see our code is here without any errors now let me explain so here we are creating a instance for fluent weight and we are setting timeout as 30 seconds we are setting polling frequency as 5 seconds and we are ignoring the no such element exception and then in the element we are giving any name so you can say this is let us say element and we are saying wait until so this is what we have defined here this wait we are saying wait and then we are using this until and again if you hover over anything you will find this all this documentation the implementation and again fluent wait if you hover over here you will find this and with timeout you can see sets how long to wait if you hover over polling every it will set how often the condition should be evaluated and this is ignoring the exception okay now here here is a function where we are taking web driver as an input and web element is the return type so here you can see we are here finding the element and what we have to find is this so we will change it with our code so this is our element that you want to find with the link text this so i will take it from here i don't need click i will just take it until here until here copy it and here i will replace this particular thing so i will paste it here okay and then it is returning so let me do one thing i will not return it from here i will store it in a element web element let us say link element and this is equal to this and then what i will say inside this function is i will say if link element dot uh, let me say is enabled then I will print out element found and then I will just return this link element okay and actually I have to return it outside so I will cut it from here and let me see it should be okay now yeah uh, now we have no error so it is now finding this element and i'm storing it inside link element and as soon as it is enabled or visible i'm printing out element found and then returning the link element and now outside this i can use this link element 
so as soon as as it will be found it will come out and now I will say okay so no, not link element this element which we declared here so it is now stored here I will say element dot click so here I am clicking outside okay and of course I will have to remove this statement so I can remove or let me comment this out okay so here it is clicking once it has found and let me also make the polling frequency as every two seconds here and now let me try to run this and just take a close look at the console so we go to google.com and now I will manually click on page number two so until now it has not thrown any error so it is still finding and polling every two seconds if I go here you can see it found it and goes here it has also printed element found and it is now passed so it has printed this and you can see it did not fail it it waited for 30 seconds and actually it is waited until it was uh, visible until 30 seconds and polling every two seconds and then as soon as it found it it clicked on it and came out so this example that I showed you might not be a very good real world example but this is very good to understand the concept of fluent weight so whenever you have some elements that may take different time intervals to get loaded or whenever you want to use any timeout with the polling frequency with ignoring exception you can use fluent weight so let us do a very quick recap today we learned what is fluent weight and how to use fluent weight i hope this concept of fluent weight is very clear to you you can share your knowledge with others and in case you face any issue you can write them down in the comment section or send me a message and i will try to reply to you as soon as i can i hope this all was very useful thank you so much for watching